when confidence is perceived by the buyer to exist in the seller, they're more comfortable with their own decisions, with their choices. Okay. So when a seller, a business owner is stating what requirements they have. And the way I do that in sales calls is I'll say, you know, where my clients and I enjoy the greatest success is when they possess these qualities. And then I tell them what the psychographic profile of my ideal customer is. Hmm. By communicating that, okay, that demonstrates confidence in my ability. I'm looking for specific things. And it takes that, again, out of the customer vendor into peer partner. Because in about 20% of those sales calls, the prospect will ask me, do I qualify? Yeah, I was just going to ask you, do they do they come at it that way? Do they try and qualify, right? And, and yeah. demonstrate so, how they meet those criteria. Yeah, yeah. they ask, you know, 20% will ask if they qualify. And interestingly, in that 20%, typically I have a concern. And it opens the door for that discussion. I can say, I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm. So because I know that logically this makes sense to you, but emotionally, I'm going to be asking you to do this. And I frankly, I think it's so far outside your comfort zone, you're not going to be able to do that. And if that's the case, then we really ought not move forward. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we have that discussion, but even the other 80% in that moment, realize this isn't going to be a unilateral decision, them deciding whether or not they're going to hire me. Mm -hmm. We're going to decide jointly whether or not we're going to work together. 